People were willing to pay $15,000 for Ziploc bags of air that was captured at Kobe Bryant's final NBA game. $15,000 of real money? Allegedly. Cool. Hmm. So, what happened was, during Kobe's final game at Staples Center, everyone came out, they were watching the spectacle of his farewell. And there was some guy just in the crowd, filling up Ziploc bags with air. That sort of fits with how I remember that Kobe game. Like, well, they were playing the Jazz. I wasn't there, I was watching on TV, but that is the greatest farce of an NBA game I have ever seen. The Jazz were bad, the Lakers were terrible that whole, like all of Kobe's last couple years. No one was bothering to compete or sure. no one had a playoff spot in mind. There was there were no stakes at all. The entire drama of the game was everyone just funneling the ball to Kobe. And he fit, he, like he scored 60 points at work. He finished with more shots than the rest of the Lakers combined, like by a long <laughs> shot. Because he had 50. Uh, I know 50 that much. Shots. He, had, he took 50, he scored 60 points on 50 shots. Well, that's also in line with like how that whole farewell weird tour sort of, yeah, like, right. that's very much in line with that whole circus. Because he, he said goodbye and there was no hopes of them being a playoff team. In the context of baseball having like Derek Jeter's retirement tour and mm -hmm. Mariano Rivera's retirement tour, they would play a road game and someone would present them with like a rocking chair made out of baseball bats. Right. Kobe was very much <laughs> like, uh, no, I am more dignified than that. Please like keep all of your gifts private and we're not gonna do that whole thing. Honestly, like there had already been precedent set for this by the Lakers themselves who sold like $1.2 million worth of merchandise on that final day alone. Didn't they have like hats with diamonds yes. in them for like several thousand dollars? There was a, a diamond encrusted hat cool. for like 24,000. Or you could also shell out $38,000 for a snakeskin hat. Oh, cool. Is it real Black Mamba? Is that actually a snake? That's yeah, a real yeah, snake. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, that's like yeah, a that's rare like, poisonous snake. Yeah. We snake. respect this guy so much that we murdered his namesake and now you can wear his skin. <laughs> right. So the Lakers were selling all sorts of garbage like that. Somebody said, you know what, I bet they would also buy air. Because why not? Do we know anything about this person? I wasn't able to find okay. any trace of this person. Because basically what happened was they ziplocked air. Mm -hmm. They put a sticky note, or in some photos, masking tape with Sharpie written uh, air from Kobe's final NBA game. Cool. Put it on eBay with a very reasonable 99 cent opening bid. And okay. it took off. Within hours, there were 50 bids for $800. Within hours of that, it had reached 15 grand. You can't do that as a joke, right? Like. In terms of actually bidding, like, yeah, you could end up having to pay $15,000 for a bag of air. I don't know. We weren't able to get an answer because the listing went away. Well, Whether eBay took it down because they said you can't sell air or... So no one actually bought it. Nobody ended up exchanging 15 grand. They stepped grand, in and they were like... But the bidding reached 15 grand and then the post went away. I wish that someone had actually, you know, won that auction and received the air because I want to know how you ship a bag of air. Because yeah, it bags up? of air are what you use right, to ship right. other things. <laughs> Imagine getting that and like peeling those bags open that you would get from like Amazon and then accidentally opening the $15,000. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> are you breathing the air in yeah, this scenario? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think in that scenario, I would panic. I would try and breathe in the air as like a temporary and then just be like, well, well, some of that is mixed in. When I breathe it back into the bag, I would have to explain to people, it's not 100% Kobe air anymore because I accidentally ripped the bag open. But there's at least a molecule in there. Sure. Likely. And using that same science, because we are using science. Yes. You could also argue that there's probably like a Jack Nicholson fart in there or like a, <laughs> yes. or like some, some celebrity burpage. Right. Especially for his final game, they had to have come out and For Jack Nicholson's final game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the implication isn't that, like, this is Kobe Bryant's breath. No, they were careful about the language there. Okay, because you would have had to go up to his face and actually have him breathe into the bag, and then even then, like, a Ziploc bag is not the most airtight container. Right. Props to the person, identity unknown, who had the wherewithal to put up a bag of air for just 99 cents. Oh yeah. If that person had put it up and like, I'm selling a bag of air for $10,000, that wouldn't have gone anywhere. Right. Because I think it was plausible for enough people at the beginning to be like, yeah, I'll pay $40 for a bag that was yeah. like at the Staples Center. I've spent 40 bucks on a goof before. Sure, easily. 
I want to know how this person was bagging the air, I guess, is my question. Like a like butterfly net style <laughs> with the yeah, like, I mean, Ziploc bag. Right. This is something I would love to experiment with a little bit, but you can't swing a Ziploc bag around and then close it and have it be sort of plump and full. Like, you have yeah. to blow forcibly into a Ziploc bag for right. it to really fill up. Are there pictures of the bags? Yeah, they're plump. Can we There's, see it? It resembles if you were to blow up a bag right. by sticking your mouth into it and then quickly <laughs> sealing it. Actually seeing the handwritten label that says Air from Kobe's Final Game, it reminds me of that Arrested Development bit about the dead bird in the fridge. Yeah, do not eat. <laughs> Even though the seller is vague about its air from the game, you still can't verify that much. It's not outside the realm of possibility. There's how many cameras inside of a game, like a professional basketball game, right? Could Search be, around for bag boy. He might be in the background of one of those like wide stadium shots. You know, a dude in a <laughs> Ziploc bag going like. Oof, oof, oof. The way I found this story in the first place was I was looking into one story I really enjoyed uh, when I was young of Luis Gonzalez, if you remember him for the Diamondbacks. Somebody tried to buy a piece of gum that he had chewed for a lot of money. So he allegedly chewed this gum, spit it out, and someone Somebody came and like collected it? And I'm gonna auction it off. But they weren't able to like verify uh -huh. that he had in fact chewed the gum. So. He chewed a second piece of gum in a way that they could verify and in a way that both pieces of gum could go up for auction and the money would go to charity. Somebody bought them for $10,000. What? Chewed gum. For charity. For charity. Oh, for charity. They donated $10,000. Sure, 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 sure. But for That's chewed not gum, a... if we were to try to get into this business, what athlete's heir would fetch the highest bid? Michael Phelps comes to mind, just because he's famously good at breathing. Right. Mm -hmm. I think the Michael Phelps thing is a little bit more of a reality because if you don't get the air, then you can at least get some of the pool water. Like, I think you could legitimately sell a little vial of like, this is from the Olympic swimming pool where he won <laughs> 42 gold medals or whatever. You just want to vape the pool water, don't you? I want to be like that guy who vaped the Gamer Girl bath water. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you're virgin on Michael Phelps' Gamer Girl. Can we put lungs. that as tags on this YouTube video? Oh, 100%. Michael Phelps' Gamer Girl bath water vape. What if I vaped it and I became the world's greatest swimmer, like a Spider-Man sort of scenario? What if you vaped Michael Phelps' That's swim water? Has That's anyone tried? No one's tried it. That's actually how Ryan Lochte became a thing. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you want more weirdness, then we have more weirdness for you. Or if you're craving Kobe content, check out his beef history with Ray Allen. Subscribe to SB Nation, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications.